What is going on, gang of lang? We are back once again with another tier list. And this time around, we have ourselves a freaking chair tier list. And I am actually super happy to be doing this one. Now, you all may not know this, but the Joe Dog is the king of sitting. And I will lead you all to victory with this list. Pretty sure I sit more than you, Joe, but whatever, I'm happy with the lists I've done recently. We probably chose Joe because he doesn't break the chairs after sitting on them, so he'd have a better review. Now, that isn't very nice, Barack. I think it's okay that you break chairs, Donald. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got the Adirondack chair. And yes, that is what you call these things. And this is a nasty chair, and I don't like the layout of it at all. Call me crazy, but this belongs in D tier, while our next entry, which is the armchair, belongs in A tier. Love me a good armchair, but I must admit that it gets outranked by a lot of other things on this list. Joe, the fact that you even know what the hell that first chair is called amazes me. You know what? I am respecting your chair game now because I was fully unaware you even had chair game. Yeah, I'm on the same boat as Donald because who the hell knew what an Adirondack chair is? Like, maybe we just suck at knowing our types of chair, but good on you for knowing Joe. I'm not used to you guys being so nice to me. I feel so good I can bust... But, uh... I mean, bust out in glee and laughter and nothing else. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and rate the next two because after that we got two back-to-back -back C tiers in the ball chair and Barcelona chair because these look nice, but I swear they are uncomfortable. The ball chair makes you think you'd be cozy and snug, but if you're tall or wide or both, like in Donald's case, you just don't fit in it quite right. And the Barcelona chair just has an awkward orientation and I won't have one of these in my humble abode. Okay, I'll respect the fact that you called me tall, but that wide comment better be because I work out so much and I'm just so buff. We can say that, but yeah, then after we got a certified S tier in the toilet seat, because goddamn, do I enjoy myself a great toilet seat? Okay, I don't want to sound like a hater, but what's so good about a toilet seat? The toilet seat is the most sacred chair you can have in your household. And just think about the amount of times you sit in it and even stay in it till your legs fall asleep. The Joe Dog heavily respects the toilet seat. But yes, then after we have the barrel chair, and this gets a B tier from me because these make me feel like I'm sitting in a waiting room. And while it's not uncomfortable, it just makes me feel funny. And not the good type of funny either. The hell is a good type of funny? Like, ha ha, funny Barack. Come on now, that's an easy good type of funny feeling. But yes, then after I have the beach chair and C tier, because these kind of suck and are super situational and not really that comfy, and then the butterfly chair going into B tier because they're kind of mid. But oh man, we got an A tier in the camping chair because if you sit in these bad boys, you know you're going to be nice and cozy. And if they have a drink holder, it's a plus. Then rounding off these sets of similar chairs, I have the deck chair also going into B tier because it's quite all right. Joe, you keep calling them mid, but then putting them into B tier. Make it make sense. Oh, like you haven't done that before. Listen, man, any chair is a good chair, but there can still be some bad ones, if that makes sense. No, it does not make sense, Joe. Well, I guess real ones just know, and I happen to be the realest mf -er out there. But then following that, we got an auto S tier in the desk chair, and God damn, if you get yourself a good desk chair to sit and relax on, then you got yourself a beauty. And just to clarify, I don't mean gaming chairs because those suck donkey balls. And if you're ever going to get a chair for your desktop, then 100% always go with a nice ass office or desk chair and your back will literally twerk for you. Okay, Joe is spitting mad facts here because always get a gaming chair expecting it to be comfy as hell. But then they end up with a broken back or even worse with a broken chair like Donald here. Listen, man, why do you have to go telling everyone in the world what happened during the Discord video call? It's not my fault the damn chair broke when I threw myself on it. With that much force and momentum, an anorexic midget could have broken it. Donald, you calmly sat down on it, and as you were about to start your sentence, it just gave out. You and I have different interpretations of what transpired that day. I wish I could remember what happened, but I was too busy knocked out on call. I love hearing you two talk because it makes me so happy and fuzzy inside. Gross, Joe. Don't involve me and Barack in whatever you got going on in your mind. You can stop me in the call, but you can't stop my imagination in my bathtub. But, uh, yeah, then after we got a director's chair, and while these look uncomfortable as hell, there must be a reason as to why all directors choose this chair instead of a lazy boy, so I gotta give it a B tier for that. But then after we got a metal folding chair, and these things are absolutely dreadful, and I don't think a damn soul in this world would argue that they belong higher than a D tier, because, god damn, what the hell is this man? These things suck so much, but thankfully we have a palate cleanser up next, and 
I don't know how this qualifies as a chair, but I am damn happy that the hammock made the cut because this is an automatic S tier in my books. Get you a nice summer breeze going and sit out in the sun and I can lay here for days. I've even had times where I accidentally fell asleep and Jill wouldn't open the door for me and then I had to give her a sandwich the next day because of it, because of... Ah, that's sweet of you, Joe. You messed up in not waking up early enough to get back inside and to apologize to Jill, you made her a sandwich. You know that is actually one of the sweeter things you've mentioned on this channel. And for a second, I doubted if you truly loved your wife. Oh yeah, I gave her a sandwich, all right. A damn knuckle sandwich, because how dare a bitch get all twisted on my ass and not let me inside. Never mind, there it is. Personally, I would have gone with a pimp slap if she disrespected me that much. No, you shouldn't be doing that. That's a good one, Donald. I'm gonna have to do that next time. But yes, then after we got a high chair, and while I like the type of age group that sits in these, I don't like sitting in them myself and we'll have to give it a D tier. And then after the lawn chair gets a C tier from me because sometimes the plastic parts stick out and hurt me a bit, but it beats everything in D tier for me. Valid as hell, Joe, because those lawn chairs admittedly do suck ass at times and are weak and can't handle a lot of weight. Not that uh, I would know. Are we really gonna ignore what Joe said to start that sentence off? So yeah, then after we got the park bench, and this is okay, and this is yet another C tier. I don't think anyone goes out of their way to sit in one of these, but if they're there, you'll sit in it. Oh man, but then after we got a freaking S tier because the recliner is a gift from God himself and I freaking love these things. Taking a nap on one of these definitely has to be like a top five feeling you'll ever get in life. Now this is definitely something that Don can get behind because a damn good recliner after a fat meal like one after Thanksgiving is definitely amazing. Glad you see the vision, Donald, because the joster is fucking cooking. After that, we got a rolling chair and a salon chair both going into B tier. They're okay, but I don't think people realize how much more comfortable we could be getting if we just sat in something else while getting our hair cut or how useless rolling chairs are if you got a good office chair with wheels. Then after I got something that may be controversial, but I don't have the sofa going into S tier, but I rather have this going into A tier. And the reason for this is that while this might be comfy, you have to also realize that these are meant for sharing. And the Joe dog just can't nap nicely if there isn't enough leg room or if the sofa is just poorly made. What if that sofa on the list was a really nicely made one and you just judged it harshly for no reason? Nah, man, I can tell by just looking at it that it's more of a backroom casting couch type of sofa rather than a nice one to sleep on. But moving on, we got a stool and I don't even need to explain why that goes into D tier or why the throne goes into S tier. These are super self-explanatory, but the wheelchair gets an A tier from the Joe dog. And some of you might be confused, but these are actually kind of comfy and I like playing in them. Then after the Windsor chair gets a C tier because damn, these wooden chairs just suck ass. Now what's wrong with a wooden chair? Do you even hear yourself, man? You know damn well a wooden chair feels like shit. Sometimes I feel like you just talk to say, I swear to God. But yeah, then after we got two back-to-back A-tier entries in the womb chair and the bean bag, now the bean bag might be rated too highly, but that month before the bean bag turns to shit is magical, and I love how I can just melt in it. But yeah, then after we have our final S-tier entry, and the is the chaise lounge chair because these are so damn good to just sit in and literally, as the name implies, lounge around. Well, way to spoil the fact that we don't have any S tiers, Joe. What if I didn't know you weren't a fan of the rocking chair or wicker chair? Listen, man, you'd have to be missing a chromosome to like these last two chairs, actually. Uh, I take it back because the rocking chair is at least a little fun because you can rock back and forth. So I actually am going to place that into B tier but the damn wicker chair only gets a C tier from me because these suck ass. And quite frankly, you're not all that comfortable. And if you have someone as big as Donald sit on them, then you may as well call it wraps because you are cooked, my friend. Better call up Ikea and ask about their refund policy in the case of being destroyed by a gluteus maximus. Listen here, you little fuck. The only thing that is getting destroyed is my gluteus maximus when I work out and nothing more. Actually, wait, that came across a little weird. You guys know what I mean when I say my ass is getting destroyed. I don't mean it in the way that I know Joe wishes it was, but whenever you do a nice glute workout, you just feel your glute muscles just tear apart and it hurts so bad sometimes that you just can't sit down and so you're left with a really sore ass and uh, okay, that also sounds really weird, but I swear my ass got sore from working out and nothing more. 
It is completely fine and normal to wake up with a sore ass and or butt. And I'm making sure Frail keeps that in the video. I'd love to destroy your gluteus Maximus Donald.